Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla of Kayla Meets Culture and today I am going to be telling you three reasons why I am glad that I left the United States. I found myself by this absolutely gorgeous temple by the ocean so I hope that you love my surroundings I think they're very beautiful and very colorful I'm very blessed to be living here and having such a beautiful location to shoot my video today so let's get into the topic of the day I am from the USA I grew up there my entire life but I also really enjoyed traveling and ever since I was a teenager I had the desire to leave the US after I became an adult and actually started working and having to get used to what it means to survive in the US, I was like, you know what, like, this is definitely not for me. Like, there are other developed countries out there that are way better than we are. So I was just like, you know what, I'm out. I'm leaving. I don't have to do this. So reason number one, healthcare. Healthcare in the United States is expensive it's so expensive and it's very nerve-wracking because you never really know what you're gonna get when you get insurance in the u.s you have to pay the monthly premium you have a deductible and then you have a copay and it's just it can be kind of really expensive like the copays and deductibles don't make any sense when you're already paying every month for insurance i was on my mother's insurance for a long time before i got on medicaid and when i was on her insurance i could not afford to go to the doctor because i lived out of network i would only go to the doctor when i went to visit my mom in georgia so for example if for some reason i was in an emergency and i'd have to go to the doctor how much money might we have to pay just because i went to a doctor that was out of network you shouldn't have to be afraid of what going to the doctor might cost you the last thing I want to say about healthcare is that when I struggled with having decent insurance, I was like, you know what, like I might as well just stay poor and have Medicaid because I feel like if I have Medicaid, at least I'll be comfortable going to the doctor. At least I won't be afraid of a bill. And that's not sustainable in the long term. And that is one reason I'm glad I left the United States because that's one thing that I do not want to deal with. Reason number two safety the united states is unfortunately not a very safe place especially when you compare it to other nations that are just as developed since i've come to taiwan like it's really weird for me to walk around and like not watch my back you know just generally like i'm confident that i'm gonna end every day with my life still intact but you know what man i'm not sure if my face is gonna make it every day because it is hot here so my first example is an example that is primarily exclusive to being a female and i did not really enjoy living in philly after about four years i was there i was just like i'm done with this i'm done getting harassed i'm done wondering like if some simple harassment i'm receiving is going to escalate into something worse because i'm not trying to die or get injured or hurt or assaulted over some dude and his weak ego yeah like that's primarily my safety issue that i felt in the u.s but one that I know that everybody thinks about in particular is gun violence. And gun violence, while it is particularly a reality in black and brown communities, it is a reality around America. It is something that everybody is afraid of. Another issue with violence in general is in the United States is a lot of it stems from social issues, poverty, mental illness, a lot of issues that our government is just like, whatever. Like they pretend they care, but like they really don't, you know? And so like, yes, America does need gun, gun <laughs> Yes, America does need gun reform. That is absolutely true. But we also need reform on so many other issues that will generally improve society. And if we can overall improve our society, then we will have less violence in general. Like, even before I went to Costa Rica and Panama, I was really nervous about the potential experiences I could have there. And then I get there and I was like, huh, I feel like three times safer here than I do in the United States. So like, this is cool. I'm chilling by the beach and I'm safer. Love it. Um, yeah, so bye America, not doing this anymore. Reason number three is just general economic stability. Everything in the US is pretty expensive 
if you want to rent an apartment, eat healthy food, go and just enjoy your weekends, you're probably gonna have to spend some money to do it. And unless you're making a lot of money, you're probably not gonna be able to put much into savings at the end of the month. I only made around $1,300 a month since that was the cap of what I could make to be qualified for Medicaid. I was spending probably about 40% of my income every month on my rent. And the thing is, like, if you're paying for that, like, if you're trying to save money, it's just not very financially feasible. So I feel like unless you're making a lot of money, it's kind of hard to have it all. You could be doing financially well and then all of a sudden you have some type of accident and maybe your insurance doesn't cover it and next thing you know you're like 10 grand in medical debt. Like, no, no, I don't know, uh-uh. <laughs> like why work for economic stability and just have it like ripped away from you? We act like this stuff is normal in the States. Like it's not okay, it's not normal. Like look at other developed nations that live good lives and they don't do this type of stuff. And like, why? I don't know. I don't understand like why we don't fix things in the U.S. Well, I do understand why we don't fix fix things because people in the U.S. are not people. We're just like objects to be taken advantage of. So, you know, like I was like, I'm leaving. I want to be treated like a human being. I hope any of you out there who either are from the U.S. and you want to leave, were maybe able to get something from this video. And if you're not from the U.S. but you're curious about why people do not want to live in the U.S. I hope you learned something from this video as well. Um, thank you so much for watching everybody. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow along. Bye.